All right, FAQ number 17. What about deathbed confessions? You get these people that uh, their whole life they've rejected Jesus Christ, and uh, on their deathbed they get saved. What about that? Uh, well, I would say that uh, if there is somebody that has not heard the gospel, uh, never heard the gospel clearly presented to them, um, and they get saved on their deathbed, well, that's one thing. But if you get somebody that's heard the gospel over and over and over again, and they reject uh, the Lord, uh, and then they get saved, you know, saved on their deathbed, no, I don't believe that's legitimate. Let me show you why. You can turn in your Bible to John chapter 12. John chapter 12, beginning at verse 37. It's a great uh, scripture here, instruction in righteousness for this whole thing. John chapter 12, verse 37, But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. You know, life in general is a miracle. Just the fact that you have food on your plate there and you can eat it and it goes and it gives your body health and everything else, that's a miracle from God. Going, you know, the Bible talks about the invisible things from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, Romans chapter 1. You know, you can see that there is a creator. You can see the, mirac the, the miraculous nature that he has created. Your whole life is, is you're, being, you're surrounded by miracles from God. But notice it said there, uh, though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him picture of a lost man. It's talking about the Jews in the Old Testament, but it also relates to lost people. Let's continue. Verse 38, that the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which he spake, Lord, who hath believed our report, and to whom hath the arm of the Lord been revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because that Isaiah said again, he, talking about God, he hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted that I should heal them. Hmm. Interesting. Verse 39 said they could not believe. Why? God wouldn't let them. You say, well, Brian, you know, is that really for us today? Well, famous passage over here in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse 10, And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Uh, I'll give you a little story here to kind of illustrate my point. Uh, there was an old farmer down in West Virginia that uh, I had met. Um, I, I have some family that lives down in West Virginia. And uh, this old farmer was just a cussing, just drinking, womanizing, just just a, a rough, rough character. And, you know, mocked God, mocked the Bible, didn't want anything to do with the Lord. But on his deathbed, right before he died, he got saved, they said. Uh, no, I don't think so. That man heard the gospel over and over and over and over and over again, and he rejected it. And I know his mentality. I know a lot of the mentality of those old, rough, tough farmers like that. They say, I don't want to live like a sissy Christian my whole life and ha can't do this and I can't do that and I can't go out womanizing and I can't go out drinking and, and cussing and fighting and stuff like this. They're cowards is the whole thing. They're scared to death of what somebody is going to think of them. You know, I'm a big, rough, tough guy, but I'm too much of a sissy to live as a Christian and to witness to people and get people offended cowardly little yellow little wimps is what they are and they oh, I'm gonna live my life of sin and then when I'm on my deathbed then I'll pray the prayer and God's forced to accept me at that point in time I don't think so oh no I don't think so listen to me the first time that you reject Jesus Christ the first time you're a child of disobedience salvation is not an option Salvation is not, well, you know, I don't really feel like doing it or whatever. Hey, hey, man, you've sinned against God. You're on God's planet. You are breathing God's air, eating God's food. Everything that you have belongs to God. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And when you reject what he did for you, allowed his son to die on the cross for you, and you reject that, 
I'm not ready yet. Huh? Why does the Bible say then, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Now, don't put it off. You know why? Because you can put it off and put it off and put it off to the point where God says, you can't get saved. Your heart becomes hardened. So do I believe in deathbed confessions? No, I don't. Unless that person has somehow avoided hearing the gospel up until the time that they're on their deathbed. And you know, it's ironic because I know of a new number of stories where people have gotten saved when they're dying. And it's amazing because a lot of times the Lord will let them live for a little while longer so they can witness. I've seen that thing. They won't die right away. But when you get this thing of people are like, eh, I got a week to, to live, you know, they're going to, they saying I'm going to be dead soon. So what do I got to do? What do I got to pray? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, God, please accept me. I accept your son um, and I pay for my sins. Yeah. And pray all this in Jesus name. Amen. You know, I put my faith in Jesus. Now I'm a Christian. No, I don't believe that. I believe, I don't believe that for one second. So uh, watch out for this thing of deathbed confessions. Um, if you know somebody that's lost and they're rejecting Jesus Christ, Explain it to them that there's a real serious danger in there and their heart becoming hardened to the point where God won't save them. They can't get saved. It's very dangerous to mess around with that.